Hello, I'm Sharon. I'm Jason. And we're going to show you how we make our resin frames. We frame our pennies in these little hand cast resin frames, but we scour the antique shops to try and find really nice little frames for our pennies. And this is one that we found quite a while ago. And we take a casting from this using this material here called Mold Max. N29 NV and it's from Bentley's Advanced Materials and it's a really good product but to be honest we've not really looked for any other product because this has worked quite well and just to say we're not being paid to promote this either and they come in these really handy little uh, trial sizes and you can get the big gallon um, ones as well but we use these little ones because we don't often take lots of casts. So that's the trial size, is it? That's the trial size. Wow, okay. So first of all, you need to get yourself some foam board and you've got your frame. You need to cut the foam board with um, some area around the frame. So here I've actually got my frame on top of the board and I've got two centimeters going all the way around plus a little bit extra. And that's what you need to achieve to start with. So first of all, you want to place your frame onto the foam board and just mark around the outside edge. I might film one or two bits on my phone so you can actually see what's going on. And just mark around the inside of the frame as well, like so. Next, what you want to do is measure roughly two centimeters around this outside edge and draw a frame with a ruler, like so. I'm filming this because this is all news to me too. I should be. I'm taking notes, could you use this later? Yeah, I'm the one that normally comes into, <laughs> comes into the workshop Ooh. and creates these moulds and resin frames. Well, that's what you do, don't you? Okay, so you can see now I've got <coughs> my marks all on my phone board. So to create your mould, you need a little infill to go inside of the frame because it's called an infill an, an infill a wooden infill. no 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 i'm just curious what your little thing was called um you need to make it obviously slightly smaller than the inside of your frame and i've had my little blocks made by a lower coast joinery who are based in the next county in Cornwall uh, by my friend simon and it's quite sweet actually we used to go to school together so he made these for me. So thank you, Simon. Because I, I, I can't use a saw at all. I'm not trusted. Simon's much better. And this goes in the middle, like so. And that way you don't use excess um, material of your mold making resin here. Um, silicon, I should say, your mold making silicon. You won't use too much of it. What you're gonna do now is you need a hot glue gun. Mine's just heating up here. And you're gonna glue the wooden infill just in the center there. So I'm just literally putting some glue on there. And I'm just gonna stick it in the center. You'll see what this lump of wood is for come the end. Okay. <clears throat> Next, you're gonna stick your frame with the glue gun on your marks where you've got it on the foam board. Again, just adding the glue around i've got a bit of a, a squeaky glue gun there that you can hear 
Presumably any glue would work, wouldn't it? Well, a glue gun is better because it is plastic based. Well, that's not good for the environment, but um, it means that when you've finished, you can actually peel the glue off of your frame. So if you wanted to actually use this frame uh, as a piece of artwork as well, um, you can actually peel the glue off the back of it quite easily. So there we have the beginnings of our mold. Next, we need to seal the wood. Okay, I do this now because um, obviously I don't want to get wax all over my hands. So I'm using Sonite wax. You can see it there. And I'm just going to get a brush. And what this does, this seals the wood or any porous surface. So if you're, if you had a frame here that was made of wood and you know it's porous then you could actually give it a coat of this wax as well. Okay. I'm learning. I'm here for just for tea making services <laughs> as you've probably gathered by now. <laughs> you make a nice cup of tea. I can be Johnny to your Fanny Craddock. <laughs> and one, one for the youngest viewers there. Okay, I'm just going to wipe this brush. I'm just wiping around any bits that I don't want. So now that is sealed. I don't need to seal my frame. I've actually used this frame before um, to make um, a silicone mold. So it's all right, but if you were using uh, a frame that obviously the materials were porous, you would need to seal it with the wax. Next, we need to build up the sides of our mold and you can cut four pieces of foam board and I've made my, the depth of these four centimeters. The height of my frame is three centimeters, but I've made the height of my the walls of my mold four centimeters and that's the same height as the wooden block is four centimeters as well so the idea is you're going to next glue the walls of the mold here around the outside edge along this black key line that you can see so i literally just get my glue gun and follow the line around like so. Okay. That's quite thick um, foam board, isn't it? Which probably makes it easier, I guess. Yeah, the, the, the thickness of this foam board Ten, no, seven is six, about six mil. So you just work your way around working quite quickly if you can. If only you had two set bits of hands to do it with. <laughs> yes. Part of the reason you're working quite quickly, of course, is because the camera we're filming this on shoots in 12 minutes, then turns itself off. That's yeah, not helpful, is it? So, we'll put that roughly. So the next thing that I need to do is actually seal all of the edges around the frame so that we don't get any leaks. No one wants leaks. So, what we do is use your glue gun just to go along all of the edges. I'm just taking photos here for, so I'll remember what to do. Yeah, and then you can come and oh, make great. them. Yeah, there we go. I'm liking the glue gun though. 
Let's have a go with that. Very useful. Okay. So it's just really worth making sure that all of the edges are thoroughly sealed. And obviously it makes it stronger as well. There you have your mould frame ready to receive the actual silicon. So I'm just going to place that to one side for a moment and show you the silicon. So it comes in two parts. So you've got part A and part B. Both of them need to be stirred before you mix them together. Now obviously because this is um, a little set that uh, you can buy, um, it's all pre-measured, but if you were buying the bigger gallon tins, you need to um, weigh it out. So if you've got a bigger project, then you will need to have scales and um, some other separate mixing uh, cups so that you can pour out the required amount and all of the data that you need to find out how much product you would need you will find on the Bentley's Advanced Materials website because it really is quite specific how you measure the different parts A and part B out and you have a hundred parts A to ten parts B by weight so they both need mixing and this is really quite gloopy so it's so I've got this lovely big mixing stick and I'm just it's not my ruler is it <laughs> it's not your it's not your favorite way. ruler mm. so we're mixing up part A and then we're giving that a shake and I'm now going to undo the lid. Okay, so you, you need to mix, obviously, the two parts together. And mix it until it becomes a really mellow yellow. At the minute, it's a bit sloshy. I can't really show you because I'm, it's... I'm, I'm filming it. So oh, you are. <laughs> That's good. It's a bit sloshy, is sloshy. it? Sloshy. Sloshy. Yeah. It's a technical term. It's not a quick process. But yeah. what, what, what you do need to know, though, is that the silicon has a cured life of um, 40 minutes. Um, actually, I thought, no, let me say that again. Once you've mixed the parts A and part B together, you have 40 minutes before it will start curing. And then for the silicon to actually properly cure, it needs to be in um, a room uh, room temperature I should say and it would take about six hours for the silicon to harden. We'll come back for that one. Yeah. And how long do we stir for the royal wheat? Well it's nearly all mixed in but what I'm going to do is scrape the bottom of this mixing pot here and I'm going to scrape around the edges because it's really important that parts A and part B are completely mixed together. I have to explain that it was just pure luck that this trial pack of uh, silicon uh, was the, the exact correct quantity that we need 
to make uh, a mould for this small frame. Can we stick with small frames then? It'll be easier, won't it? Okay, so cool. that looks Look like that. a really lovely... I'm feeling hungry. ...consistency. Oh God, what does it remind you of? I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure there's some I don't like scrambled eggs. I'm sure there's some food stuff that was probably around in the 70s. Oh yeah. Uh, that's looking really good. You do need some muscles to to stir yeah, this. That's why you're doing it. <laughs> okay. So now we're kind of ready to pour. Yeah, the exciting bit, the bit I came down for. What I want to do is just use a tray in case the edges of my mould aren't uh, completely sealed. I have still got my glue gun on just in case I need to make any uh, quick adjustments there so I'm going to pour in the corner gently and slowly and we'll just let the silicon find it its own level Look oh it's that. so satisfying it won't take 12 minutes will it I don't think so we're in trouble if we cut, we'll have to come back to you later. Look at that. Is it always yellow? I guess it's just the chemicals. I think so. Bye bye frame. Now you can see what the wooden block's for. Even I can work out what the wooden block's for now. So we keep going until we kind of get to the top of the block and then I'm going to set this aside uh, at room temperature and come back and check on it check on it in about six hours time so what's the gap there you've got from the top of the frame as we're looking at it to the top of the it's four centimeters in height um, so it's just I don't know, so it's about a, a centimetre yeah, and a half that's, yeah. taller than the actual height of the frame. Because it needs to be a reasonable amount, doesn't it? Otherwise it'll have a weak point. Yeah. You don't want it too thin. And presumably this table it's flat, it's level, I mean. Oh yes, it's very That'd important. It's very important that you are working on a level surf surface, as you can imagine. You don't want everything to be going down <laughs> at an angle. And nothing's that level in this workshop. No. Which is new to us, as you might have, if you've been following us, you'll know it's, okay. we've been here about 10 weeks and we haven't really done it up much, so excuse the mess. I think, we are just about there. There's a tiny little bit left inside here, not much at all. So there's not really much wastage, but you know. That's um, coincidental, isn't it? Because yeah, I mean, that one's a bit bigger. This so one's sli one... slightly bigger. We might need um, for our other frame that we've got that we want to create a mold from another antique frame. So we'll probably buy the bigger size and weigh out the actual amount that we need. Do we have to do the maths? We have to do the maths. There's a nice cubic centimetre maths. Nice formula that we will need to use for that. So that is effectively how we make our um, a silicon mould from an antique frame. So in order for us to make resin frames, and we'll come back to this in six hours time, and we'll show you what to do next. Six hours time. We wine o'clock bar then. Can we do it tomorrow? Tomorrow then. Mm, okay. See you then. Bye. See you then. Right, we're back again. 
yeah so we're going to um, pull the sides off our mold here uh, to reveal the actual silicon um, the it's moment of truth. The moment of truth. Do you need like a hacksaw or something? Yeah, it's a bit tough. Obviously, the glue well and truly stuck. So we left this overnight to cure, okay. and it was in uh, room temperature, about twenty-three degrees thereabouts. You don't want anywhere too cold. We took it in from the work. Yeah, it was too cold in the workshop, so it's winter. So this is all quite exciting, but of course there's a certain amount of nerves with this as well because I have no idea if uh, if this has worked or not. So we shall see. Now I see why you were using foam board and not wood. It did go through my head when you were putting it together, the frame. I thought, well, why don't you use wood or something solid? But now I see why. Well, I suppose I suppose you could try it um, with the the thing that you could unscrew it. You could unscrew yeah, the screws. Yeah, you have a frame like that. It'd be but you, you, non porous though. Wouldn't yeah, it? so you would use sonite wax, you know, to coat the wood. Shout if you need a hand. Yeah, yeah, actually, can you take oh. this rubbish away? It's helpful. I can't go far because we're wired up together. Yeah. <laughs> One phone recording. Yeah, with the microphones, yeah. Okay, so there's a bit of paper on the back. And of course we've done this lots and lots of times so we really know what we're doing this must be what the uh third time third time oh, God. But you're learning. so there we go i've just started to break our original frame through a little bit of the silicon that creeped underneath but but that should be fine it can trim that off afterwards i'm gonna i suppose i could film this couldn't I? A stretch <clears throat> just in case you can't see what's going on there. This is the glue gun glue that's coming off as well. Right, what I'm gonna do is get a scalpel and just trim some of this excess creep of silicon that's come underneath. So I'm just going to use a scalpel like so to just peel off. easier for it to come out. So, the wooden infill is quite is wedged quite strongly inside but it, it will all come out. Just got to take your time. Okay, yeah. so there's the infill that's come out. And now you grab your frame and gently tease the inside of the silicon that's kind of gone into the rebate of the frame. Just tease that out so we don't rip it like so. Okay, so that's our frame, undamaged can just pick out a few of the little bits of silicon that have 
kind of crept into crevices there that will come out quite easily with a scalpel or a brush and all I need to do now is trim just these little bits of silicon at the top here away we don't need those and you can do that with a scalpel or you can do that with scissors just gently go around the edge and how long does the mold like this last well we roughly calculate that we've made about oh well just over 50 frames with this one silicon mold we, we think and the last one did start to perish slightly because every time you pull the mold out of the silicon or sorry if you, you your resin frame that you've made out of the silicon it can sometimes just damage the edges of your mold and so over time it will start to perish in saying that I have managed to make 10 frames very recently with my old mold and they all came out really really well but there was just a little bit more finishing off that I had to do it's not a quick process so you can see now that all the detail of my vintage frame has been captured in this silicon mold so now this is ready to begin using to create more resin frames just a word of caution before you use your mold to pour resin in to create multiples you will need to spray it with a silicon spray um, it's a releasing agent it's just a spray that you can buy and that will help for you to be able to remove your resin frame easily from this silicon mold it means that it won't stick to the resin so there you have it that is how we created our molds for our frames and uh, actually making them the frames themselves and pouring the resin of course Sharon's already made a film of that you'll be pleased to see I'm not in that one so it's much better so um, yeah that one's already on YouTube somewhere isn't it yes somewhere. so if you want to know, know how to actually cast a resin frame you can scroll through our um, We've done this Instagram TV and you'll be able to see a different video where I also had a different hairstyle <laughs> and a different workshop yeah <laughs> all changed and different part oh no 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 that's no, the, that's the that's same the okay I uh, hope that was useful Take care. Thank you. Bye.